Cheers! Happy New Year! What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Leah Love. Y'all already know what it is and what it do. If y'all clicked on this video, thank y'all for clicking on this video. Y'all, I thought my seat went back a little bit more. I feel like I'm a little, a little high. But, y'all... Um, this is something quick. Uh, I don't have much. I just have some macaroni, meatballs, and baked beans. And over here, over here, y'all, y'all can't even see it good. I'm going to put it there, but I got some nice cold banana pudding. Nice cold banana pudding, y'all. And I was being so lazy today. I did not even feel like getting out my car doing anything but y'all know i gotta come with a video i gotta do it i gotta do it boo i gotta do it and we gonna we gonna we gonna sip 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 just a little bit just a little bit because y'all know what i really think that i was supposed to say happy new year yesterday in the video that i did yesterday but i didn't so uh i might be a day a day late on the happy new year but cheers Happy New Year! <laughs> we made it! We made it to 2021. Congratulations. I'm talking about congratulations like we won an Oscar. But it's a blessing to see a new year. I got to eat, y'all. So let me eat a little bit. Let me say my grace. Say my grace before I eat. And then I'm just going to bust down. Bust down! Get to praying. Amen. Okay. So y'all got my macaroni. I'm gonna tear these meatballs up. I ain't even I ain't even gonna play. How y'all doing? Mm, I'm doing good. If I leave here. I'm going to do a vlog because I got to go to Walmart. Got to get some lady products. Mm. These meatballs are so good, y'all. I was supposed to have some ribs and stuff, but it's okay. Me, I'll work with what I got to get somewhere. To get somewhere. Mm-hmm. Cheers, y'all. No, yeah. What? Yes. Oh, my gosh. I hope that everything that y'all been praying for everything that y'all been working on that it comes to y'all i hope so i pray and you know what it ain't i hope so if you do the work it's gonna come it's gonna come y'all i'm gonna eat these meatballs i got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so how many i ate like three i always eat like meatballs Mm. Y'all, my son like meatballs, <laughs> and he called baked beans black beans. <laughs> I can't wait till he get older, and he realize that they're not black beans, they're baked beans. <laughs> Let me see my macaroni. Hope y'all having a good day today. Bringing in the new year. New year, stop playing. Stop playing. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to eat some more. Rest assured, I'm going to eat some more. Another reason why I ain't want to go outside too is the sun keep fluctuating. They keep going up and down, up and down. It's an area over there. The clouds are very dark, but the sun is trying to come out. 
and then the sun is out over here and the clouds are popping off over here y'all so it's like mm, i could do a video in the car i could do a video in the car Mm-hmm. Y'all see how fast I'm sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. But somebody playing music, y'all, so I don't be knowing if you can hear it in my videos. And I don't want to get copyrighted, so that's why I'm talking. But um I forgot what I was gonna say. I forgot what I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get one of them things. One of them things that um I seen on Cuzzo AB uh channel. She got um she got a little thing where you can sit on your car and sit your tray up though. I need to ask her where she got it from. Y'all know I don't know cuz on AB, but from 818 to 918, she responds to comments in her comment section. And I'm pretty sure she'll respond to my comment if I ask. So, yeah, y'all. <laughs> but, baby, I hope y'all, um, when y'all said that y'all had like, um, I don't know if it's a New Year's resolution or something new that you said that you want you gonna do when new year came or like next year in 2021 i hope that you start doing that right now because it's here it's here and it's crazy though because i remember mm, my bad y'all but I remember last year. Last year when 2020 got here, everybody was like, my 2020 was going to be, you know, they, they said everything. I'm going to stop talking to the people that I'm talking to. They said all this and then some. And then y'all, guess what happened? It didn't work out like that. I'm going to finish my topic. Well, I'm going to finish what I got to say. Okay, I don't want people to be staring at me when they roll in. <laughs> Y'all, but they said that. And then they was like, you know what? I'm going to start over in February because January was just not it. When 20, excuse me, y'all. When 2020 first started. So I hope that y'all don't, you know, start saying that your 2021 and our, ain't going right already. And January the first just hit. You know what I'm saying? I think it's just what you make it. And y'all, I left my book inside the house. So this video is not going to be long at all. I left my book inside the house for the topics that I'm supposed to be talking about. Yeah, y'all, I, I was not prepared today. But it's okay. Okay. <laughs> Is she all right? Man, I'm thinking she's not all right. Yo, I'm so sorry. <laughs> No, she she drawing attention to herself. I, oh gosh, okay. Y'all. Let me focus on me. I got four meatballs left, y'all. Four or five. Five left. Oh. Yeah, I don't have a topic. I don't have a topic. I don't have a topic. I'm sorry, y'all, but I don't have a topic. Woo! Today's a new day. Hey. <laughs> I ain't gonna start, y'all. I ain't gonna start. 
but all I can say is mother nature came unexpectedly to me so I gotta go to the store you feel me <laughs> I came in out there my friend though and I was trying to leave out the bag though <laughs> Mm -mm. But y'all, I like to say this. Let me consume this food and get it all down. These meatballs are pretty. Mm. But yeah, I was doing my makeup this morning. And I was trying to figure out which video I should watch this morning while I did my makeup. I really don't like the way I did my makeup, but it's okay. But I was watching Cousin AB as I was putting on my makeup. And I love what she said. I love the fact that she said, I believe a lot of people wanted to know, like, they wanted to know, like, how do you know what's your purpose? How do you know, you know, what you're supposed to be doing and stuff like that. And I was just like, you, you, you so right. And then she went to go, she went to saying that like it it really just naturally came and it's true though because you never really know what your purpose is or you never really know until like god just starts showing you y'all this one shirt i got on i just seen my jacket in the car so i just threw it on <laughs> so i just threw it on y'all because my arms is ass shit so i just threw the jacket on but that's off topic. But I was just saying that it's crazy though because you never know what your purpose is is until that's up until you start doing things. Like me, I always did poetry. I wrote short stories in school. I always like I was the type of kid that would just sit in class and I'll just create stories. Like I had, I don't even know what ever happened to it, but I had like a 13 page story. Y'all front and back that I just created, that I just made. It was like a drama rated R kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know what I thought I was. I was in uh, high school, y'all. I was in high school. But yeah, it was that. And I was just writing. But that just says like I didn't know my purpose. I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. If I was going to like pursue you know, poetry, I just, it was just something to me, it was just something to pass the time, and so, it's crazy that, like, up until now, until my adult years now, I'm starting to realize what my purpose is, and I'm more so of fulfilling that purpose, and that, that thing that God wants me to do, and as I grow, I'm, st it's like, more things is, is, is starting to happen for me, y'all. Like, let me see. Like, poetry. When I first introduced my channel and I said that it was going to be poetry, I didn't know that I was going to do that much. I didn't know it was going to just, like, pop off like that. But then when I started getting requests and people started vibing with my poetry and stuff like that, I said, hey, I'll include that a little more. Because it was going to be, it wasn't going to be as much poetry as it is now. But I didn't know that, but God knew that. That's a that's like a purpose because when I do my poetry and stuff like that, I didn't know that like a lot of people can relate, they can feel, they can understand, and they can like. I didn't know that. Me coming on, me talking, me, you know, getting more in tune until you know, knowing knowing God, talking to him more, praying. I didn't know that I was gonna do that, y'all. I didn't know that at all, but when I realized that I had to release all the bad energy and I just wanted to be great and do better, that's when I just started becoming like my purpose started evolving. It started just like shifting. Y'all know what I'm saying? It started shifting. And then it's like I become like more and more in tune with like things in life and me and my purpose and god just started showing me stuff and then that's how now i know with my channel my channel i still couldn't tell you right now exactly where it's going only god really knows where my channel is going y'all catch it when i'm going only god really knows all i know is what i'm doing right now 
I know that I'm on the right track. I'm doing well. I'm doing fine. I'm doing wonderful. You know, it's a lot of bumps, a lot of speed bumps, hazardous, cautious, red tape. It's a lot of things that's happening that allows, that will allow me to stop. But when I come on my channel and I look at my comments, y'all, y'all keep me going. Y'all keep me like, y'all keep me like, I just love to see the comments and to to actually feel to actually feel and believe that y'all are my family i come when i'm not doing a whole bunch of stuff because i be doing a whole bunch of stuff y'all but when i'm not doing a whole bunch of stuff and i'm commenting i don't have no time to where i comment because i just don't i just comment when i see y'all comment when i'm not busy i respond y'all know what i'm saying and it's just like y'all tell me about y'all day or y'all tell y'all tell me little bits and pieces and stuff and y'all like the places of which i'm going and like the environments and stuff that i be in y'all be liking stuff like that and y'all come and y'all respond and it's crazy because your own family won't do that but you know god will ex he will execute things for you and show you things that you never thought that you would ever see in your life you know you like hey well i was taught this because i know when i was younger i was taught to be a lawyer doctor teacher or something like that and y'all know what I wanted to be a doctor, then I wanted to be a lawyer, but then as time progressed and went on, things shifted, and then my family and people tried to instill in me to work a nine-to-five job, but I knew that ain't what I wanted to do, you know, and just God just started shifting some things, opening doors for me, and that's how you, and y'all, I got this. I don't even know if this is a topic. I'm just, you know, doing what I do. But watching Cousin OAB say what she said made me realize some things. And she also said how, um, how, uh, like, like basically forgiveness. Like, the devil could have been using that person. Like, you never know. Like, if y'all want to, y'all want to listen to it or whatever, it was, it's the video that she's eating all red things. Got some barefoot wine, got a red velvet cupcake, got a heart cookie, got some salsa, some Doritos. She got all that, basically, y'all. And she's talking about it. It's the, that, that's the video. You type in C-U-Z-Z-O-A-B. Cuzzo A-B. Cuzzo A-B. She's a mukbanger. Type that in, you'll get, you'll get a little word, you'll hear some things. And I was just like, dang, like, you made pretty, you made so much sense. I'm just like about family about people like forgiveness like you really because me personally y'all that family stuff goes out the window with me it goes out the window i don't care what nobody say because tell the truth shame the devil family are the ones that really be envious that really be hating really got so much animosity so much beef so much bitterness so much anger in their heart for you so much jealousy when you start doing Whatever it is that God said before you, you start doing that. You start pursuing. Family start hating. You walk in that room. You leave out that room. Your own family talking about you. They talking about you bad and down to other people. But you know what? I listen to that video and I'm like evolving and like more, like learning more. It's like I never really had like beef or anything with my family. I just, you know, let it go for what it know and let it roll off my back and off my shoulder. But now I realize to just really let go. Just let go. If you don't want to be in my life, I'm not going to stress it or beg you to be in my life. I'm going to pray for you and keep it moving. I'm really going to pray for you and keep it moving. I don't know what it was in the water that was causing you to act the way you was acting. But, you know, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it roll off my back. I've been letting it roll off my back, but she allowed me to see things a little bit different. And like she say, God was shining his light through her and she was able to come before the camera and express all this to us. And I received it. I'm a person that do not comment very, very often. I comment every now and then, if so, but I watch it. And I don't even be on my personal channel like Leah Love. I be on another channel. Like, I be on the channel that I got zero subscribers. So, people will never know when I comment and I give advice and I help. You will never know it's me. But, y'all, I love that message. Let me eat a little bit of this banana pudding for y'all. I'm finna try to show y'all. 
Y'all, these are napkins back there on my seat. Yeah. Napkins back there on my seat. Let me try to show y'all my banana pudding. It looked kind of crazy because the way I did it. Oh, man. That looked crazy. I'm sorry, y'all. That looked crazy. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know this video was going to be this long. I thought it was going to be like 15 minutes. <laughs> but I go to running my little choppers, running my mouth. <laughs> yeah. This was a wing it video. It wasn't supposed to be, but by me forgetting my notebook at the house and everything, I said it's okay. It's okay. We coming in the new year with no excuses you know what i'm saying excuses are for i don't know no excuses ain't no reason why just because i left it at the house at the house that don't mean that i can't not do a video i'm going to do a video mm. i ate that banana mm. but y'all you can start at nothing and you can be next year. You can be doing something. You can e you can be evolving. You can be just oh my gosh, becoming the great. Like I be having so much in my brain, y'all, that it the words just don't be coming out right. Okay, let me let me let me pause for a minute. Let me see. So basically, what I'm saying is, right now, you could be in a dark place in life. You can be in a sunken place. You cannot know what you're going to do. But that does not mean 30 minutes from now or hour from now, tomorrow or next week, that God is not going to shift some things. Because to be honest, he, he's already had something lined up for you. He's just waiting on you. He's waiting on you to become ready. He's waiting on you to get all that off your shoulders, all that anxiety, all that I can't do it, what if. Like, all that, I don't know, maybe all that. He's waiting on all that to go. He's waiting on you to step out and walk out on faith. You know, on his word, on his behalf. He's waiting on you. Your future is brighter than you think it is right now. You know what I'm saying? It's really brighter than you think it is right now. It is your season. But you got to make it your season. You got to make it your time. You know what I'm saying? He's been having some things lined up because everything is already written out, baby. He just waiting on you. He really just waiting on you, y'all. Yeah, I didn't make this video so long, but I'm not even going to do it. Dang. I just wore this jacket. I just wore this jacket like two videos ago. But it's okay, y'all. This is my Fashion Nova jacket. Y'all, and I paid like $40 for it, so I'm going to wear my jacket. Period. <laughs> Stop playing. It was sitting on my floor, so I picked it up. But, y'all, let's drink the rest of this together. Let's drink the rest of this together. New Year's. I said New Year's. <laughs> new Year. New beginnings. New journeys. New accomplishments. Everything. All 2021. We ain't have to wait for no 2021 to get here to say what we gonna do and what we gonna do and how we gonna do it. One thing I can say is, when you got that new job, did you tell them that you was applying for a new job? When you got that position, did you tell them that you was waiting to be hired for that new position to step up? When you were saving up all that money to get your car, did you tell them that you were finna get a car? Did you just pop up with your car? That goes to show that you can move in silence. Let me drink. You can move in silence, baby. Whatever it is that you're doing, you don't have to let a single soul know but God and yourself. You don't have to let a single soul know. Just pop up. They can think that you're sitting down like a bump on the log and you ain't got nothing going for yourself, but that's okay. Because rest assured, you is going to come back and you're going to come back with full force. Ain't nobody got to know what you're doing. 
you telling everybody your every move and what what you doing sometimes it might don't come to, it might don't come to the light you too busy trying to seek validation and approval for other people that ain't got nothing going for themselves move in silence keep it moving keep it pushing for all they know you broke you broke you ain't nothing but somebody that like to take that's all they know but let them keep thinking that okay let them keep thinking that move in silence you ain't got to tell them what you're doing. You finna go get your license. You ain't got to tell them that you been, studying, you been studying to get your license for about three months. And now you finally finna go to the DMV and you finna get that thing. If your license suspended or it suspended or it got revoked and you been working on getting it back. You ain't got to tell them that you been working on getting it back. Just go get it. And that go for everything. Everything in life. You can move in silence. You ain't got to tell a single soul a single word. But y'all, it's your girl, Leah Love. Happy New Year. Everybody enjoy. Everybody turn up. I love y'all. Don't let nobody knock your joy, steal your shine, stay on your grind. It's your girl, Leah Love. And you know, today I had time. But on that note, I'm out. Peace.